Welcome to Learn CFS. Today in this video we will see what is stiffness. Stiffness is a very important factor in finite element analysis. So without wasting much time, let's begin. So this is uh, what is stiffness is. We know that stiffness is equal to force per unit displacement. Force per unit displacement. Generally, K is equal to F, F by delta. That is displacement. Okay. So stiffness is defined as force required to produce unit displacement. Okay. What is stiffness is? Stiffness is force per unit displacement. Okay. So it depends on geometry as well as material. Geometry means cross section. It depends on geometry as well as material properties of your input. So let's consider two rods of different metals like say steel and aluminium. Okay. So which one is the most for steel or aluminium? Yes, it is steel because as a stiffness uh, depends on geometry as well as material property. Metal properties are what? Young's modulus, Poisson's ratio, okay, and modulus of stability. So as we all know, steel have more Young's modulus than the aluminium. So steel is having around 2.1, okay, 2 lakh 10 thousand MPa. That is Newton per mm square. Okay. So this uh, 2.1 10 to the power of pi. Okay, that is 2 lakh 10 thousand. 2 lakh 10 thousand newton per mm square. So it has more angst modulus. So steel is more stiffer than the aluminium. Steel is more stiffer than the aluminium. Okay. So next, let us consider with the same material. Steel and steel, which is have a same metal modulus. Like Angst modulus is same, Poisson's ratio is same, modulus of rigidity is also same. So then, in this case, which one is more stiffer? Yes, this one is more stiffer because it looks more. It look like huge comparatively. Uh, this steel uh, geometry to this steel, right? This is slightly bigger than this. So cross section is more. Comparatively, this model. Comparatively, this model, the cross section of this body is more. So, it has more stiffer. This body is more stiffer because it depends on both. Both is what? It depends on the geometry and as well as metal properties. Okay. So, these are the uh, formulas for if your application of tense, uh, stiffness. Where you are you are having tensile stiffness, then go for this formula AVL. Uh, bending stiffness of for a cantilever beam, if you are having this, so K bending is equal to 3 EI divided by L cube. E is the angst modulus, I is the movement of inertia, L cube is your length of that geometry. Okay, so torsional stiffness is K is equal to G J divided by L. Okay, these formulas will help you to. To, to do some hand calculations. So next, after knowing the what is stiffness, now you have to uh, check with element stiffness matrix because it is very important uh, the concept in uh, the final element analysis to make stiffness matrix. If you are going for any interview, they will ask how the stiffness matrix will form in uh, uh, in finite element analysis. As we know, the static equation for uh, uh, force displacement relation is force equal to k into u, right? So this is k is what your stiffness. K is what your stiffness. So this matrix formula, this F, okay, and stiffness matrix and displacement vector. How this stiffness matrix is formed is it is depends on three methods. There are three methods for deriving the stiffness element matrix. Okay, so first one is the direct method, second is one is the variational method, third one is weighted residual method. The first one, what is the direct method is 
it is easy to understand but difficult to program it is easy to understand but difficult to program so for that reason it is not used for commercial software code generation so direct method is easy to understand but difficult to program this is the reason why they are not used for uh, code generation for commercial software okay next one variational method the variational method follows the relay reads methods okay uh, it follow the relay reads method so what is relay reads method in that is so it is difficult to understand but it is moderate from code writing point of view it means it is comparatively easy with the if you compare with the direct method it is little bit easy or a moderate from code writing point of view but it is difficult to understand so next one is weighted residual method in weighted residual method they follow a galerkin approach or a galerkin method so it is difficult to understand galerkin approach is also difficult to understand but it is easy from programming point of view it is easy easy from programming point of view so this method is used in a most commercial software if you are using uh, any pre processing software or any api software they use these two methods generally they follow galerkin approach to calculate your system uh, uh, stiffness matrix okay so this is a basic uh, methodology or methods for to uh, deriving stiffness matrix what are these direct method variational method and weight residual method so direct method is difficult to understand so the reason why they are not used but in a relay reads method and the galerkin approach they are difficult to understand but they are moderate or easy from programming point of view this is the reason they are used for all commercial software okay so let us discuss uh, with one example so let us consider springs element suppose if you have a, a two node two node that is i and j uh, nodal displacement is u i u j that is initial displacement final displacement nodal forces are initial forces f i final force f j and spring constant k spring constant k okay so let us uh, take force displacement equation or a relationship where you know force is equal to k into u we want to calculate the stiffness then k take outside take k outside it becomes f by u u is uj minus uy that is uh, final minus initial final displacement minus initial displacement it becomes u displacement so k is equal to force divided by final displacement minus initial displacement okay so this is how we can calculate the stiffness by force by displacement as i said in the uh, previous slide force stiffness is equal to force per unit displacement okay this is how it will form by force displacement relationship next consider equilibrium of forces for a spring at node i at node i f i f i that is force is uh, on the system so it is minus so minus k that is changing minus k uj minus uy uj minus uy that is k uy minus minus positive k uy minus minus positive positive k uy minus plus minus so minus k uj okay next at node j at node at node j so force by the system so it is positive k is equal to sorry f is equal to k into uj minus uy same final minus initial that is ku f equal to ku right so u is becomes your uj minus uy so for plus minus minus uy is the initial so minus ku i plus k uj so here it is plus here it is minus so it is plus minus this becomes minus So plus 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 k u j. So you have the um, force at node i and j. Okay. So 
to next form the matrix. The matrix form F equal to A U. F is a force vector. F I F J. It is a F I F J is a force vector. So next, this becomes if you take out uh, in a form in a matrix, displacement is outside. So K only K remains. K positive K positive K minus K minus K. And here uh, minus K. This is minus K. Positive K here. This is positive. Okay. So this is uh, and this is called matrix stiffness matrix. This is stiffness matrix. And this is displacement vector. This is displacement vector. So for if you further simplify it, it becomes K one minus one minus one. So here it becomes your ui and okay this is how uh, you can uh, form a matrix in a um, uh, for the f equal to k into u equation by using force displacement relationship and considering the equilibrium of forces for a green element okay so uh, there are key points means this, uh, this is uh, um, how stiffness is formed is force divided by displacement and it depends on the geometry as well as metal properties okay stiffness is force by displacement and depends on geometry as well as metal properties so these are the uh, formula you can remember for your hand calculations okay this is it this is all about the stiffness uh, thank you for listening.